who gets to go under the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> do over. It's a new. Have you used it before? It's a brand new post driver, right? That's pretty stout. I'm gonna reach out to him. Brush hogging yesterday. So, I don't have my three point on the back. I figured that box splitter, that uh, bush hog, brush hog, would be heavy enough to counter these pipes. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's only nine of them, but pretty heavy. I don't know, what are they, three inch, eight foot? Just wanted to teeter a little bit. I'm like, if I went up, yeah. Job's done. We're going back inside. Cool. So on the whole property, we're at the front left corner. Like I would call this the front left if you're standing in the house, and the back right. So front left, back right. That's the only place where we've got these giant rocks. So I was kind of curious if they would hit any right here on the road, but you can see there's probably 15, 20 feet. I say road, driveway. It's probably 15, 20 feet through there. Looks like we're clear, but he's building a H brace, I guess, an H to step over that. And the fence is gonna run here. The fence is gonna run there to the post you saw up there. It's gonna build a brace across here and there'll be a gate between these two trees. So I'll be able to actually load and unload right here by the driveway. So, pretty slick. You guys know what they're doing. And the lovely Miss Haley here, <laughs> she actually has gone to work with them full time. She quit her day job. And so this is Jeremiah, Isaiah, their cousins. And this is Haley, Jeremiah's girlfriend. And yeah, she's the one that uh, paints all the posts and stuff like that. But fun fact, she welds. So yeah, I think I told everybody about a year ago I wanted to learn how to weld. Now I feel like I need to because I guess she's done some of the work in the shop and gonna learn how to do more like the custom stuff, like our gates. Um, so yeah, that's pretty stinking cool. But you guys have helped with a lot of that. I sincerely appreciate it. I'll tag them down below in the description. If you're seeing us on Facebook, you'll see it there too. But you guys have blown up their page. They've got work from you guys. Yeah, all this is getting replaced. Uh, even this arm, that's starting to wear out. Those are actually discontinued. Uh, they don't make them anymore. And we want one. It barely works. I mean, I, I don't ever want to be one of those people that complains about you know, an automatic gate arm not working, but 
it's uh it's just dated just old they, they just don't last very long i think it has made it like i mean he's had it since he built the house i think it's been seven years which is pretty good considering they got teenagers going in and out of there for the last five or six of those so that's a brace there'll be a brace right here and it'll shoot across the little creek that we only have it's very rare this has water in it but we won't have to worry about it i'll likely put in a culvert so innermost post that's what i was curious is if these rocks carried through there like they do or that post pounder is just driving right through them keep going <laughs> you're not giving enough throttle good afternoon everybody chad doss farms Let's uh, hop in here and see if by chance we have any new cows. Bill and Nelly, Maximus, Tipsy, Fiona, there's Glory, there's MJ. Donkeys and somebody's napping. Who's that? Sonny. Hello, young lady. How are you? How are you? Whoop, look out. I thought didn't feel good. That wasn't nice. See, that wasn't nice. So we had quite the storm last night. Uh, well, first off, if you're new here, welcome and howdy. If you're old here, welcome and howdy. Yeah, quite the storms last night across the uh, northeast Oklahoma, southwest Arkansas, or I'm sorry, northwest Arkansas, southwest Missouri. So some of y'all are either experiencing it, have experienced it by the time you see this or whatnot. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys are well. I hope everybody uh, fared well from it. I've never been more thankful for the storm shelter. Let's put it that way. Here come the rest of them. CJ, Bunny, Finn, Franklin, and Junebug. I'll get her to do it again, hang on. Woo! Talk to him, June. <laughs> Get it, CJ. Look at the wheels. All right. Easy. Yep. I'm going to dump some cubes along this line right here. June, hang on a minute. Let me dump some cubes. And because they've all got giant swords sticking out of their heads, let me do it safely here. Hang on. My goodness. Whew. Lily, what's he doing? Chasing that calf. You agree? Are you grumpy old man? What'd that calf do to you? Badonk. Uh-uh. No. Badonk and donk. What is he doing? Kind of odd. Hey, hey, listen. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Maximus. Push these back in there, because if we don't, they'll try and stick their big old heads through the barbed wire. All right, hang on a minute. We'll bring that uh, second bag back here in a minute. Jeremiah and his crew are here, as you guys saw, and he's stuck again. So it's just soft, man. We got a bunch of rain last night. I mean, tons of rain. They actually said something about the rain I've never seen before, but they called it, instead of an extreme thunderstorm or tornado warning, tornado watch, like we were under all that stuff, but he literally called it, the weatherman called it extreme rain. I've never seen that before, but man, it poured hard. Um, sounded like hail, like all night long. So anyway, let's get over here and fire up the tractor and get him out. Just keep clearing land. <laughs> man, that's one night of rain. Oh, man. You're good. Look how soft that is. That's crazy, dude. Well, skid steer is too heavy. So you guys are just gonna get a little bit of a land clearing video tonight. Here's what she wants. What do you say, Junebug? I'm surprised she's sharing. I don't know how long this will last. For a spaghetti. Of course. <laughs> Babe, Jeremiah made me work. I saw that. Yeah. I mean, I had to, I worked so much, I didn't even get to like really film it. I mean, I was cold. My boots are wet. My socks were wet. It's like the worst day to start. I know. <laughs> I know. I watched you out the window, so I got to, <laughs> I got to work it on dinner for you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> Basically. What he's gonna do is make the almost nine acre pin a full 13 acres for, we have a dozen cows mm -hmm. with three on the way, but we have three steers 
and we won't keep any bulls or steers or anything like that. So anyway, my goal is a dozen heifers. That's what I want. Heifers and cows. Yeah. So plus June. June won't go anywhere. Yeah. Well, she's so. a cow. She is, but... Is she a cow now? Because she's had one? or is this... She's a first-time heifer, technically, still. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a cow First calf heifer. Two? Yes. I believe so. I don't make the rules. What do you know? This is a cool little wing I got right here from my stocking cap. But we got the skid steer stuck three times. But the good old coyote with the four-wheel drive, we got her out. No big deal. But the problem was the skid steer with a grapple bucket would have made short work of clearing the 550 feet, but we had to use the tractor and the chainsaw and the brush hog, but we got her, we got mm -hmm. it, so. Awesome. We we're pretty excited, but it's all gonna look way different. I didn't even wanna go film it, because I just wanna show you guys when it's done. Mm -hmm, it's exciting. So, but I think Thursday there'll be a pretty big progress update, so, real big, all right? Do they so. know about like what's going on in mine too and everything? Nope, haven't like told them. Oh, okay, well, all right. Yep, figured I'd let you tell them. So, you don't have to do it right now, but we'll wait, make them all wait. <laughs> so, can you guys tell I'm hungry? <laughs> anyway, we're literally filming this at six o'clock. You guys are probably gonna see this here in like an hour and a half. We sincerely appreciate you. Um, we're gonna get the gate hung expand that yeah. pin. There's going to be a place where I can pour a pad and have like a panels and working system, like a corral and the whole nine yards. And it's only going to be 50 feet from the house. So there'll be water finally. Don't have to use the IBC tote. There'll be power in the winter to keep it from freezing. Uh, super excited. So anyway, we still have dogs. I forgot about that. But anyway, with that said, I'm gonna get out of here, get something to eat. So I'm gonna go take a bath too or a shower. But the problem is, you know, Jeremy, I got 10 years on him, just like I do you. <laughs> it just, things hurt longer, <laughs> you know? So just sore longer now. It's weird, I don't like it. But anyway, y'all be good. Don't work too hard, don't make it weird. God bless, deuces, see you guys.